Well, hello, book lovers. I am so excited. Welcome back to Mer Week 2018. We are here hanging out with the Circus Siren Pod. I am so incredibly excited because you've been seeing some of these ladies all week long. They've been doing interviews with us, and we've been having so much fun. And they are joining us live from the Carolina Ren Fest. We are incredibly excited to see you. How are you, ladies? We're good. really good. Yeah, it's been, we just wrapped up our uh, our first day of the weekend, and we'll, we're excited to do it again tomorrow. So oh, yeah. Done. Absolutely. That is so much fun. Can you go ahead and introduce yourselves to everyone? So I'm Mermaid Sienna. I'm known as the Shenandoah Mermaid because I'm located in the Appalachian Mountains. I'm Mermaid Jessalee, known as the Wakandian Mermaid. And I'm Mermaid Morgana, and I'm the Caribbean Mermaid. Fantastic. And we actually had the opportunity to chat with Morgana earlier this week. If you have not checked out her episode, make sure you do. We got tons of really great information. And I see that you ladies are in a bit of a interesting situation right here. Well, we're in our seashell um, throne. Can you back up real quick and show them the... So this is our giant seashell throne. And uh, we get to sit here all day and meet lots of human children. <laughs> yep. That is so amazing. And I love that. Is that a seahorse next to you? Uh, yeah. Yes. There's seahorses on either side. And then if you look at her feet, you can see a turtle. Yep. Oh, that is so cool. He does a turtle. That is amazing. I absolutely love that. Uh, so if you are here joining us live, we do want to hear from you guys. Jump down into those comments below and leave us your questions so we can get those answered while we're on air. If you happen to be on our rebroadcast, we want to hear from you too. We'll be monitoring those comments. And if you have something that's so good that we didn't get on air, we might just be able to convince these lovely mermaids to come back and answer more questions for you. So if you are here, thank you so much for showing up. We want to hear from you and hit us on the rebroadcast as well. So ladies, I know you travel around, you do quite a few things as mermaids. I gotta ask, what has been your all-time favorite experience working with the Circus Siren Pod? Holy cow. Um, you want me to go first? Do you guys wanna go first? I, I already answered this one. I would say <laughs> that being in the big tank and then interacting with the children while being in that tank has been the most rewarding experience for me since working for Circus Siren. Yeah, definitely the children. The children make everything when you see their faces when it lights up and they're just like, oh my gosh. And then for me personally, I love aquarium work. That's probably one of my hands down favorite things to do. That is so much fun. I've actually had a couple of mermaids on who have done aquarium work before. Can you tell me just a little bit about what, how that works for you? So I was the crazy one that uh, stayed 15 minutes in 52 degree water in New yeah. York. <laughs> the uh, theater at the Aquarium of Niagara had a malfunction, um, but these girls are pretty uh, ride or die. So we still put on an aquarium show. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I also have been in the Denver Aquarium. And then I will be in the Mexico City Aquarium at the end of this month. So I'm definitely what? one that likes traveling to aquariums. <laughs> that is so much fun we have amber in the comments and she is absolutely loving your seashell throne yeah. Uh, yeah, we love it cool. too. <laughs> now you ladies have very interesting personas, and you get to do a lot of things with the circus siren pot in terms of your persona so can you tell us just a little bit more about your background i know you kind of highlighted that a few minutes ago but i would love to know just a tiny bit more about each of your stories Okay, so uh, my persona is basically the same as I am in real life. I'm klutzy and crazy and make faces all the time. So my persona is basically the same way. I've always been a bubbly mermaid and also a very um, flirty kind of mermaid. So I guess that translates into real life too. But I also like color. So my tail and my persona basically came from the long-eared sunfish, which is the most colorful freshwater fish in the Shenandoah River. And it's known for its very red spots and its blue, green, purple back tone against the red. So when I was choosing to create a different persona, you guys can go back in time and look at my Don't do um, <laughs> <laughs> and look at my crazy first tail no, that like is there's no to be first hated. tail. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about the first tail. So <laughs> But yeah, it was pretty bad. So that's how my persona came about. Is I, ch I chose things from the river and I just used my normal personality. <laughs> my persona is kind of glitz and glam fashionista persona. I'm very colorful as well. Um, I love shiny things. I love just being outgoing and fashionable and just over the top of it. 
And so, and that actually just fits into with who I am in real life as well. And so that's basically who Mermaid Jessely is. I feel so weird with the Mersona question because I've been doing this for so long back before like adopting a Mersona was a thing. <laughs> So, um, I mean, my, my mermaid backstory is based off my life. I grew up in Panama, so I'm a Caribbean mermaid from the shores of Panama. If we get really specific, I'm from Bocas del Toro, and um, <laughs> I love the Caribbean reef. Uh, I grew up on it, so that's really, that's my home, and that's what I spend a lot of my time talking about when I have a platform. That is so awesome, and I love that you all have such differences and such unique backgrounds when you bring your persona to life. And I know that I was talking with Israela earlier and she was telling me all about how much diversity you have and just how much time you guys spend together, how very much a sister group you are. <laughs> We're all like besties. Yeah. Basically, We're it's like, like this is family. sister, yeah. best friend, family, all in one. Because exactly. you, you, you have to love each other if you're going to hang out that much. So you're, like, gonna, yeah. you're going to obviously very delicately and gently stuff your friend's butt into a tail. <laughs> You gotta be close. Very close. <laughs> that is a very good point, I think. <laughs> and listen, if you are joining us live right now, and I do see we've got some awesome people hanging out with us, we wanna hear from you. Jump into those comments below and let us know your yeah. most pressing mermaid questions so we can get them answered while we are live for the next just a couple of minutes because our mermaids have to swim off to do some rather awesome things tonight. So if like you've got that. questions, if you've got comments, <laughs> hear from you. <laughs> So let us know. What do you want to know? We'll get those answered for you right away. So ladies, I know you have quite a few mermaids and sirens on the team. And I love that you kind of bring all of these different things into your group. I'm going to let everybody know real quick that we do have a little game for you to play. If you are interested in determining if you are a siren or a mermaid, you can actually type the word mer siren quiz, three words, I guess, into those comments below. We're going to pop up in your direct message inbox and you can play through an interactive choose your own adventure game to determine if you are a mermaid or a siren. And we would love to hear what you end up being. And then of course, if you do play through and you determine what you are, you can grab the first book in the Siren Wars saga for free, sirenwarsinfo.camrobinsonbooks.com or pre-order the entire trilogy right now with a prequel bonus Merrick novella from everybody's favorite brooding merman and get the entire story to see if that really is where you belong within the mermaid siren spectrum. If you've got questions, we want to hear from you now. And we love seeing that you guys are playing the quizzes as well. Now, ladies, I know you are near your tank. Before we did a tour, because we are going to get a tour at some point, I want to know what is it like to swim in this incredible tank? Do you want to start? You go. I find it absolutely fascinating. Um, the tank is circular, so I get to like swim in circles. I get to, it's so tall, so I'm able to like do handstands, um, flips, and you just have a great time. And then being able to swim with some of my sisters are awesome because we, at least two of us can get in a tank at a time. So that's a lot of fun. Uh, for me, I find it really peaceful. There's just sort of the, the hum of the filtration system when you're in there. And so even though you know there's, I mean, in this, tent there's a couple hundred people watching you at any given time but it's still like once you slip below the surface you've just got the light and the hum and you can just float and it's, it's really peaceful for me so they're talking about grace and beauty <laughs> and, uh, i purely just like being in the water now like that tank is a new experience and i think like a lot of other tank mermaids in the community are just in awe of the fact it's a cylinder because most tanks are square, right? So it's like, shoot, boom, and you like hit your head. <laughs> and this one, you can, it's like a 360, yeah, it's yeah. a 360 view of us, you know? Mm -hmm. And you can, and when it's not blocked off with the half cylinder, I mean, like most of the setups that you see, you can see a 360 view of whatever mermaid's swimming. So that just experience in general is amazing. So it's kind of like you're bringing your own little aquarium everywhere. So it's just awesome. <laughs> that is so cool. How hard is it to get in and out of that? It gets uh, easier. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it takes some upper body. Most of the team, because um, we, we were born out of a circus company, most of our team are actually aerialists or have other circus things, so they have the upper body because it's just like getting out of a pool, only the water level is a solid eight inches below the pool deck. So you have to be able to put your hands on the pool deck and really push yourself all the way out. And Gracefully. you're wearing a heavier tail as yeah, well. Yeah, and also it's full of water. Gracefully. <laughs> Gracefully. Yep. 
Yes. Because <laughs> people are watching at that point, right? With, right. with no improper language. Exactly. <laughs> That's very important to remember. <laughs> That's so much fun. And I actually had the opportunity to visit you guys when you were at the Pennsylvania Renaissance Fair. And I got to actually meet both Morgana and Jessalie while we were there. And it was so incredibly cool to see all of this. And I loved being able to go live broadcast. So if you guys want to see them swimming inside of the tank, you can actually go back on our Facebook page and check out those videos as well. But I feel like you just made it look so effortless and so lovely and so graceful and you didn't smack into anything. And it was quite lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you do some really interesting things in your tank as well, because when I was there, we actually had the opportunity to do necklaces. So can you tell me a little bit about how that works? Sure. So we do two different things where there's different necklaces or in your case, seashells that we'll stock the tank with. And for certain events that want to have that special interaction with the guests, we will dive to the bottom of the tank and retrieve gifts for you to take home. Which is so much fun. And I adore my necklace. I wear it all the time. Um, and it's, it's just such a fun thing for especially young children to come in and have a mermaid give them a gift. Oh, I just love everything about that. So let's switch gears just a little bit before we do our tour, because we only have a couple more minutes. I want to know a little bit about how you kind of set all of this stuff up. I know it's a bit of a process to get from location to location to location and then run yeah. your events during the day. So kind of give us a picture of what that looks like. Uh, okay. <laughs> so, um, so we have a custom built trailer, uh, a company that we work closely with, Silk and Alchemy. They do a lot of our fabrication, built us a trailer. But basically, anytime we're going to move the tank, it takes a forklift to put the tank on the trailer, drive it, tow it wherever you're going, forklift to take it off. We've seen some really incredible forklift drivers over the last year. I've been impressed. Um, and then there's the setup, which involves the heating system, the filtration system, the salination system, the, I'm sure I'm forgetting, so the pump, always important. The heater. Um, the heater. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so there's all that. And then we have to deck it out, depending on whether we're doing a more pirate themed thing or we're doing a more fantasy themed event. We have to cover the, the tank and our, and our backspace and hang different signs or do whatever is in the theme that the client wants to really dress up the tank and make it magical. Fantastic. We've got people in the comments letting us know their results from the quiz and our dear friend Amber R. Duell, who happens to be featured inside of our mermaid anthology of the deep is a mermaid, which I could have told you she was gonna be a sweet bubbly mermaid anyway. But we're super glad that you played, Amber. And I'm hoping that you're enjoying your time as a mermaid too. All right, ladies, before we move over to take a tour, I do have one more big question I wanna ask you. And I know that this is one of those things that everybody wants to know when I have these mermaid interviews. And that is what is your best advice to people who want to get into the world of mermaids? Why are we all looking at me? Oh, because <laughs> I, oh, I dragged you both. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, no, you were kind of there already. Um, honestly, and I'm going to shamelessly plug here, come to Mermagicon. Uh, the best way to do this, <laughs> like any other trade, any other specialty, any other performance, the best thing you can do is learn from somebody who's doing it. That's really the best way to learn. Same thing with fire spinning, same thing with aerial dance, mm -hmm. same thing with welding. You want to find somebody who knows what they're doing and, and spend time with them and learn directly at their heel or at their fin, as the case may be. And we actually have a convention coming up in February in Manassas, Virginia, where you can come learn all things mermaid. There's events and classes from beginner level all the way up to pro level. And you can meet all these wonderful mermaids from across the country, actually across the world, yes. and find somebody to mentor you. Perfect. And we do have the link for that up on the screen. So if you guys want to check it out, go to the website, get your tickets. It's going to be so much fun. I'm going to be there. I cannot wait to meet all of you in person. Uh, for those of you I haven't met in person yet, but we are going to have just the best time at Mermagicon. And I'm so thrilled that you're putting on such a great convention. There's so many cool pieces. And if you want to learn a little bit more about that, make sure you watch some of our earlier interviews because we may have gotten a little look at what is going into these conventions. Uh, and ladies, I know that you've got some cool stuff going on right there. What do we need to know about before we move over for our tour? I'm sorry, you cut out a little bit there. What was that? We know that you've got some cool stuff going on where you are. There's a little bit of a celebration happening. Can you tell me what's going on? 
Um, so down here at the Carolina Renaissance Fair, it's actually their 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So we are celebrating 25 years of cheers. And to celebrate, they brought in mermaids for the first time in the history of the fair. Ta-da! <laughs> Which is incredibly exciting. How long are you there for? We will be here the entire run and for years to come. Fantastic. All right, I think it is time. We are wrapping up. I have got to see this tank. So take me on a tour. Walk over here. So this is our throne. And then the other part of our pavilion is, of course, our massive tank. And I'm going to stand for scale. Ta-da! It's absolutely beautiful. Can we tip the camera up just a little bit? There we go. Perfect. It's quite tall. It is very tall. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I love the decorations you have on it right now. You can see all the way up there is where we pop up over the top of the blue and the purple banner is our backdrop. That is so cool. And you actually gave us a little tip that you changed the color of your waters by the backdrop that you use when we <laughs> talked during your interview the other day as well. Mm -hmm. Whatever our client wants, if they're going for a certain color or a certain look for this, they really wanted the magic of mermaids. So we went with our company colors, which are our teal and purple. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. And I absolutely love how you have created this entire brand around not only being a mermaid, but the entire circus siren that you developed before you transformed this into this incredible mermaid brand. Yes, uh, Circus Siren has been my, my personal brand as a circus performer since, um, oh Lord, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> but when I created the performance company back in 2016, it was Circus Siren Entertainment. And now that we've become known for our mermaids, we are of course the Circus Siren Pod. Fantastic, and we have everybody in the comments giving all the love, all of the so cools about your tank and about your business as well. So lots and lots of love for our Circus Siren friends. It's absolutely beautiful. And I know that we haven't known each other very long, but I am so dang proud of you and you ladies and everything that you have accomplished in such a short amount of time. Um, Morgana, jump back over with your sister so that we can sign off. And I am going to ask all of you to let us know where we are going to be able to find you. So before I ask for individual social medias, give me the info for Circus Siren. So it's Circus Siren Pod, um, just at Circus Siren Pod, both on Facebook and Instagram. Um, we're a lot of fun on Instagram. We are. But on Facebook is where you can find our events, where we're going to be, and what we're doing. Beautiful. All right. Sienna, give us your social media. So simple. Mer ready? Mermaid, Sienna. Sienna is spelled S-E-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. So Mermaid Sienna. Perfect. So if you can't remember that, that's probably a problem. <laughs> Jessely, right. let us See, know. And <laughs> <laughs> Jessely, let us know where we can find you. And then both on Instagram and Facebook is Mermaid Jessely. So J-E-S-S-A-L-E-E. -S -S -E -E. Perfect. And Morgana, let us know. It's um, Circus Siren. So you can find me both on Facebook and Instagram at just Circus Siren, if, and that'll be just me, or Circus Siren Pod. You get the whole team. Perfect. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you are joining us live, thank you so much. And if you're joining us on our rebroadcast, we are thrilled to see you as well. We will be monitoring those comments, so leave us your love down below. If you have more questions for the Circus Sirens, we will be making sure that we get them back here to answer those questions for you. And they are so great about responding to people on social media. So make sure that you are reaching out to them. Um, let me let you know that Merweek is wrapping up on Tuesday. But until then, we have two or more interviews every single day between now and Tuesday. So you can actually join us tomorrow for our Seashell Crown Craft broadcast. We are going live at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and teaching you how to make shelf crowns step-by-step, direction-for-direction, live on air. We're all going to be doing it together. And it's going to be so much fun. We also have special guest stars, both an author friend of ours and a mermaid friend joining us for our craft time. So I would hope that you would come and join us for all of the seashell fun. We're teaching you how to make this for under $5. So it's really easy to do. And we're going to have a ton of fun while doing it. Tuesday, you can be joining me at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the launch party for the Siren Wars Saga box set omnibus. We are going to be doing giveaways. There are party prizes. There's games. There's all sorts of amazing things that you can hang out for during our launch party. And I might just be giving away some copies of the books as well. We will be joined by some of our mermaid friends while we're on air as well. So I would love for you to come join us. And then we do have mermaid interviews every single day between now 
and Tuesday. I hope you will come and join us and make sure you hit the rebroadcast of all the other interviews we've done for Merweek as well. If you want the full schedule, you can go to merweek.kmrobinsonbooks.com for more information and do us a favor. We want to let Facebook know we're doing something good. So if you will hit that share button for us, that's going to tell Facebook that we are doing something that's beneficial, that you are enjoying. And when it kicks it out to more people, that means I can do more interviews, more Merweeks, more events, just like this one. We can get even more fabulous people to join us. And you are helping me to do more fun things for you. So hit the share button, help a girl out, and share the mermaid love. If you've got questions, if you've got comments, if you want to come hang out with me on any of my talk shows, I would love to hear from you. Feel free to DM me. And before we go, ladies, I think we all need some mermaid kisses. What do you think? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. I do appreciate you ladies being here. And I cannot wait to see more of the Circus Cyrus Pod. Nope. Circus Siren Pod in the future. I was so good until that point. So good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of those things. That's okay. Thank you guys for joining us. I do appreciate you being here. I will see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Seashell Crown Craft broadcast. And I may or may not have a little something extra special because I have teamed up with a tail company to do something cool. Come join us tomorrow at 3. It's going to be amazing. We'll see you then. Until then, stay inspired. Bye-bye.